What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics. What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl. Welcome back to Bay Area Aquatics. What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics. What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics. What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics. What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics. What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with Bay Area Aquatics. What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with BayAreaAquatics.com. What is up everyone? My name is Michael Pohl with BayAreaAquatics.com and today we are celebrating a very, very special day. Um, the other day I was kind of sitting at my computer and I go, you know what? I feel like I've been doing this YouTube thing for like roughly a year. My, my one year anniversary should be either coming up or it's passed already and I'm not quite sure. And I looked and I looked it up yesterday, which was November 14th. And I uploaded my first video onto this channel, which was uh, what I feed my fish, what type of fish food I feed my fish on November 17th. 2018 and so it's been one year uh, it's been a crazy year it's been an awesome year and I want to say thank you to everyone that's been a part of it um, thank you to all the subscribers thank you to everyone that's watched a video thank you to everyone that shared a video uh, liked it whatever commented thank you I really do appreciate it it's been a awesome first year on YouTube and I can't thank you guys enough for how much fun I've had you know I started this channel about a year ago, um, I wanted to do a fish YouTube channel, but I was having like trouble motivating myself to do it. So I told myself, even if the content's horrible, I'm going to start and just start throwing things and uploading them to the internet so that I can kind of get myself into the habit of it. Cause that's what I normally need to do to get myself into the habit. And so like my first video, I had a camera that was actually nicer than the one I'm using now. <laughs> it was just on auto. Um, I had a, a shop light up in the corner cause all my fancy lights were at my studio. Um, and I just, didn't really care. I just turned it on and hit record and started to put stuff out there to kind of get myself used to filming and talking and, and getting into the content like that. And then my fifth or sixth video, I forget which one it was, the powerhead and sponge filter video that a lot of you are here because of um, blew up. And it's still my most viewed video to this day. Um, it kind of makes me cringe a little bit because the videography work in there is just horrible and it, it triggers me a little bit every single time, but I make do with it. And, uh, you know, I just can't believe that I had a video like that go that far, get that much attention, get, be that successful um, for something that was really small. Um, but after that video went viral, I hit a thousand subscribers in January and decided that I really needed to kind of up my production quality. I need to start taking it a little more seriously. And so I did. And I, you know, put a little bit of money into the channel and, and bought stuff specifically for the channel, borrowed some stuff from my studio, et cetera. Um, and I'm really happy with how it looks now. Um, but yeah, beginning was definitely a little rough, but you know, everyone starts somewhere, right? I originally made this channel because I am fairly new to the hobby. I've only been in the hobby for less than two years. I got into the hobby in March of 2018, so I am very, very, very new to fish keeping compared to a lot of people, um, but I really, really enjoy it. Um, I bought my first tank, which was a 37 gallon, and then quickly kind of spring loaded to the point where I'm now. I've got seven tanks and a pond um, because that's pretty much all I can fit. I can't really fit anything else, um, but Hopefully we'll upgrade that a little more in the future. Another thing that I noticed was everyone was so stuck in their ways of this is how you have to do it. This is how you have to do it. And I don't really like that. Um, I come from a photography videography background and it's the same type of mindset in that community is no, there's only one way to do this. You have to do it this way or you're doing it wrong, period. No other way. And I don't like that. Um, and there's a couple of good channels on YouTube that I really enjoy. I really watch all the time. Um, but I figured, you know, I kind of wanted to put my spin on it and this is the way I do it, this is the way other people do it, and you know, choose what works best for you. And I think I'm trying to kind of do a good job at that. Um, I try not to argue back and forth too much unless it's just like a factually wrong thing. Um, but that's kind of the thing, is I know there's a million and one ways to get to the same destination. One of the side effects that I wasn't thinking about from starting this channel is I've met a ton of awesome, great people um, to the point where I can't even name them off here just because I, it's just not gonna happen, right? I, I, I would forget someone and there's a huge list of it and be like a 15 minute video. But because of the channel, I joined my Sacramento Aquarium Society Club, which I love and met some awesome people through there, got some awesome fish through there, had some awesome experiences through there. Um, I've met people over the internet. Um, I've been able to talk to people like Corey from Aquarium Co-op and Dean and a couple of people like that that I you know was watching and really respected. And now all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, I'm talking to these people like they they know who I am they watch my stuff right that's really cool it's a really awesome feeling to like see people that you want to watch or that you're watching 
and all of a sudden now these are people that you're friends with and people that you have cell phone numbers for and people that you communicate with on Facebook constantly and it's just like it's very very cool um, and then some new friends made along the way that we kind of rise up together like Trent Weldon uh, me and him just kind of back and forth back and forth and it's been a fun ride kind of watching him grow up and watching me grow up and um, helping each other out and back and forth and shooting ideas and I love that I, that's something I just appreciate so much and I don't think anyone can understand when I say thank you enough it's also given me a lot of great opportunities like I said I've been able to go to a lot of places and experience a lot of things over the last year um, that I wouldn't have been able to do or wouldn't have done anyways um, the other part of that is with the YouTube channel, I am making money off of it. Um, so I'm able to put a little more into the aquariums and put a little more into like going out traveling and, and taking days off to be able to go do stuff, um, which I really, really appreciate. And I thank you guys for that support. Um, but I wouldn't be able to do that without the channel. And so the channel helps me justify going out and doing a lot more fish stuff. Um, and I used to be known around town as the camera guy. And now I'm known around town as like the weird fish guy. Um, but you know, the titles change and it's what it is. So yeah, I don't want to ramble too long because I've already been rambling for seven and a half minutes according to the video. Um, and like I said, I just want to say thank you guys. Um, I really do appreciate it. I can't believe it's been a year already. Um, it's It seems like just yesterday I was throwing the tripod up in the corner and had my little 37 gallon tank right here and you know, just shop light and it, it's, it's been a lot, right? Plastic plants all the way up to this fancy planted tank that I'm loving. Um, wouldn't have been able to do it without the channel. Wouldn't have been able to do it without the support of you guys um, and everyone else that I just, like I said, I can't say thank you enough, but that, that's where I'm gonna leave it at. And so thank you guys again. Can't believe it's been a great one year. And I look forward to enjoying many, 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 many more years with you guys.